Cats and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. game. There and there! Perfect! Just feast your eyes on this fine architectural marvel. Hey, what's that? Like a lump or something? Bjorny, this isn't a lump at all. It's an igloo. You know, like my house. Yeah, but I made a skyscraper, Bjorn. That's what it is? I thought it was a stump. Franny, hey, so what is this you've made? A coliseum, where ancient civilizations held all kinds of contests. Fighting, jumping, fencing, plus chariot racing. Brainstorm time. We should have contests ourselves, right? We definitely should. Franny, hey, you make the medals. You should probably measure my neck first. I think I'll just make a cake, all right? I don't need to measure anything, Bucky, because I already know how much cake your tummy holds. All right, Bjorn begins training for the forest games. Whee! <sighs> it's the day of the contest. I'd better build up my skills. Wait, better? I'll just level up my skills. Through the magic of video games, I can master every single event, all while sitting on my furry bottom. Goodness, but I love the 21st century. train as much as I wanted for the contest. Don't worry. Being part of the games matters more than winning. I couldn't agree more. And I'll say as much while feasting on my victor's cake. Well, if you're ready to get going, boys, let's get these games started. Chicky? <whistles> Thus, with the puffing of the sacred noisemaker, I declare, woo! The forest games open! Which button do you push to kick the ball again? I don't remember. Uh. uh ah. Huh? Uh, ah. Ah. Ha! That bar is way too low. I'll move it to the top, and I won't even touch it when I jump. <laughs> huh? Hey, Bucky, you were right. When you jump, you didn't even touch it. That's strange. When I practiced in the video game, I jumped much higher. I'm a double secret black belt in video game kung fu. There's no chance whatsoever of me getting beaten. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my controller. Can we hit reset? my friend, but it won't help you when I turn my nitrous on. Hmm? What's going on here? This game has gotten really glitchy. I beat the final boss in my video game in like 30 seconds. Prepare to get sliced by the master. All right. The forest games have come to an end, and Bjorn is the winner! Let's hear it for Bjorn! Woo! Hooray! Thanks very much.
The difficulty level must have been set higher than I thought or something. Or maybe you should have gotten off your furry bottom. Hey, here, Bucky. We decided to give you a prize as well. That's awesome. A winner's cake of my very own? Cooler. It's sort of like a video game where you level up for real. Dumbbells? For real? Seriously? Get it? It works on more than one level. Piece of cake, right, Buck? World of Fantasy! Onward, brave Franivir, to battle! And victory, Sir Bjornsalot! Hey there, guys! So what are you up to with those sticks? Are you building a fire? These aren't sticks. These are swords. And the stump is a castle. We're playing knights and dragons. It's pretty fun. Hmm. But you have to pretend that that really is a castle. Use your imagination. Yeah, well, I could do that. Or I could just invent something that would make everything that you can imagine come to life. Imagination's fine and all, but it needs a Bucky overhaul. Cause I think just thinking is thinking small. With the dream machine that I install, we'll have a ball. to applaud your dainty paws off. Meet the huh? fantasy huh? Now you can go inside a real live fantasy world. Hey, cool. Awesome, Bucky. There's no way. That's totally impossible. It's impossible? Watch this. I'll just imagine I have a sword in my hand. Oh. Thank you, fantasy -adizer. Buckle your seatbelts, because things are about to get unreal. Huh? Go on, imagine something. There you go, Franny. Now, Bjorny. Mm, I imagine that we are nice. Mm. Oh, cool, yeah. And I imagine a castle. Look out! The castle is defended by a dragon. And he breathes fire from his ears. Nah, that's taking it too far. There's no such thing as dragons. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. It's just not realistic. It's not realistic? It's not supposed to be realistic, Bjorny. We're supposed to be fantasizing. If you don't like it, then you don't have to play. All right, then I won't. No such thing as a dragon. I'm going to find a renaissance fair. Those nerds are accurate. All right, Bucky. What now? Battle? Hang on. What we need is an awesome catapult, right? Yeah, but like a pretty one. <laughs> Ooh, and the castle really has to have a moat. With dolphins! I really like so it. So do I. Let's attack it. Charge time! <laughs> Oops. That's from my imagination. Yeah, and that's from my imagination. Hey, Franny, you've got to stop imagining things. I'm trying, but I just can't stop myself. Yeah, I can't stop either. <laughs> this is getting pretty weird. Fantasy it, Icer. It's time to take you off. Well, we took them off. Now who's gonna clean up after our brains? Well, it should probably be somebody who knows how to control their imagination. Someone who likes to be all realistic and stuff. Ring any bells with you? Actually, yeah, I think I know someone. Bjorn could de-imaginationize the forest for us. Bjorny, hey, Bjorny, come up here. So we were wondering if you could help us make sense of all the stuff we imagined. Our brains kind of made a huge mess. I see. So you lost control of your imaginations, did you? Uh, you guys are all over the map here. What is that, a unicorn? Nope, no such thing. Lose the snowman, because it isn't winter. Nope, nope, nopity nope. You have saved us all from our crazy imaginations. Imagination's great. 
But it isn't supposed to be real. You're right. Pretending stuff is cool because you're just pretending it. I'm gonna uninvent the fantasy -itizer. Huh? You're a great friend, Bjorn. Thanks. Well, after all that imagining, I'd say we're ready for a snack. How about cakes at my place? Cakes are a perfect idea. Uh... But why walk that far? We could just put on the helmet and imagine them. Giant cakes, talking cakes. Bucky, are you serious? Yes, I am. Seriously kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Undersea Odyssey! Batten down the something! Hoist the mizzen thing! And swab the anchor! Scuttle the rudder! Yo-ho-ho! -ho. Bjorni, did I forget anything? You forgot to do everything except talk weird. Oh, you're right! I need to load my stuff! Hey, guys! Good morning! Why are you putting all your stuff into that big pressure cooker? It's not a cooker at all. It's a submarine, a boat that goes underwater. It's pretty cool. It's like an under-the-sea expedition. Hey, can I come with you? I'd make a really great captain. We've already got a really great captain, thanks. And plus, according to maritime law, little kids aren't allowed on submarines. Yeah, submarines can be dangerous, and you're too little. Mm. I'll show you who's too little. Mm. <laughs> Catastrophe incoming, dude! <laughs> ah! 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 Someone help! Brandy! Just press the red button! Turn the submarine off! But the red button really isn't very pretty. I'm gonna press the pink one. It matches the jellyfish on my shirt. Ah! <laughs> I'm running from my life and I'm way too scared to even run! Fine. Well, when do we leave, guys? I didn't get to press all of the buttons yet. Granny, remember what we said? That submarine voyages can be dangerous? You made them dangerous on land, too. Heck, I'm not at all scared of a little danger. I'm sure you're not, but we are. You're not coming. Wait, here's something. I made a submarine for training and stuff. It looks just like the real one. I tell you what, if you pass the training, then you can be captain. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Don't tell me there's something I can't do. Yeah, I'm small, but I'm just as smart as you. <laughs> and it's not important, but I'm cuter, too. Uh-huh, you know it's true. So look out, world. Hmm. Franny's coming through. Franny, why don't we go ahead and start with the hardest challenge? You'll be saving a dolphin. Remember, everything you see on your screen, we'll see on this screen. You got it? I got it. And when I'm through passing your testy poo, I'm captain, true? Worry about that after the test. She really wants my job. No matter what happens, this hat is mine. <laughs> so now, little fox, let's just see if you've got all the stuff it takes to command at sea. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be rolling back. Guys, look at me. I think I'm drifting out to sea. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly gee. Oh, it's a dolphin. Hey, are you lost, pal? Don't worry. I'll help you find your way home, boy. Hey, buddy, be careful out there. Don't get caught on the reefies. A uh, bug? Uh... Hey, don't eat me. I'm helping you. Uh, uh, uh. Look, there goes another dolphin. Know what? This one seems nicer. I'll save it. I can't look. I can. Where was that one button? Oh, look at all the pretty pastel dolphinies. Bye. Do you think she's okay? 
Sure, maybe. No. Oh, thank goodness. Phew. <sighs> hey, Bucky, Franny just saved a dolphin for real in our training sub, which is pretty epic. Well, <laughs> did I pass? You were just astonishing, Franny. It totally blew my mind that you weren't even a little scared of that huge shark. Yeah, and you were just like, whatever. That was a shark? I thought it was a dolphin that went to the gym a lot. Franny, my friend, we'd be proud to call you our captain. Ah. <sighs>